Hey guys, Retro Badger here. In this video, I want to see if an Intel Celeron fleet can take down a Borg Cube. We all remember the disappointment of getting a Celeron at some point or another, thinking, wow, 500 megahertz for a fraction of the price of the Pentium 3. Then of course, you find it doesn't even run Quake 3. Well, Intel took all of their unused Intel Celerons and buried them in the Mojave Desert under the orders of Henry Starling. Starfleet came across these 250 years later and constructed giant ships out of them. Sounds plausible. The unmanned Celeron fleet has been sent to stop the Borg from reaching Earth. Will they succeed? So, this is the same Borg cube that was at the Battle of Wolf 359. Now I've just remembered the Celeron, rather amusingly, has micro quantum torpedoes. That could make a difference, though we can only fire a very small number of them. And we have excellent manoeuvrability. Oh, crumbs. Time to get some distance, I think. Have they fired their quantums? Oh, there they go. Right. I guess, though. The Borg could adapt to quantum torpedoes, they can adapt to almost anything. So we have a fleet of 38 in total. However, I'm not sure if we're going to survive the bombardment from this Borg cube. Oh, we've got the hull down to 75%, we've just lost the quantum torpedo launcher. Rats. That's not good. Uh, my torpedoes are not firing. Oh man, those phaser blasts are deafening! Captain, we're on a collision course. Well, the hull's down to 50%. Maybe they uploaded Windows 95 to it. We all know Windows 95, if you remember, has fun with RAM and resources. Remember Dr. Watson? Ooh, here we go. Come on, we gotta survive this. We have to survive to see this ball cube go down. Oh, crumbs. No, 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 no. Turn. Turn, turn, turn. I went too close, didn't I? We've almost got him. Oh, wrong way. Don't face that way. Luckily, we're kind of like a drift, which is helping. Oh, I can see in the ship. Oh, we've lost the Celeron. They need to overclock. I've overclocked. Come on. We're at 125% here. Oh, that is cruel. Okay, so the Borg Cube decided to destroy us just as we were about to destroy it. Can you believe that? Now, I was worried about the number of Celerons I put in, but I thought... Because, you know, they don't care, the Borg, do they? I mean, look at what they did. They just wiped us out at the last second. Ten minutes it took me to do that battle. So, I've put a hundred Celeron ships against it. Oh, the game isn't happy. Okay, so we've got the best seat in the house here. Wow, that cube is seriously impressive. This is the next generation Borg cube that we saw. The amount of projectiles flying around. Well, the Borg are starting to fight back. We have lost a few ships. I'm trying to get some distance now, anticipating the giant Borg explosion. Ah, I can see the Celerons, finally. Come on, Celerons, you can do this. I have faith. Now, we are 100 kilometers away, so I'm assuming we're going to survive the explosion. Surely we will. Here we go. I hear explosions. And... Oh, oh gosh, okay, the game's slightly out of sync, I think, which I'm not surprised. What's going to happen? Is it going to blow? Has been destroyed. Oh, here we go. Oh, man, that is a huge explosion. The game's calculating. Oh, oh, crumbs. Oh, no, the Celerons are all gone. 
Well, we survived, so it would appear you need 100 kilometers distance to survive, but the Celerons were a success. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.